Listen, you're going to love this. You see, everyone wants to have a good time in this life. But so few are coming to the realization that play, that the party, that the good time is found or born in stillness. See, listen, you can live a hella lit life of bliss, dude. Like, each and every one of you are able to live in a constant, continual, perpetual, eternal state of bliss. The secret to, uh, to being in this eternal state, to living in this ecstatic life is found here. It's found within. There's not one thing that you fucking need outside of you to actually cause or to bring about the bliss that you've always desired, the party, the play that you've always desired. Not one thing outside of you is the cause of that. You see, when we live an outside-in existence, what we're doing is we're actually allowing the perceptional view of the world to shape how we feel instead of allowing the ultimate reality, which is found within, to shape how we feel and therefore shape the world or how we see it. It's It's been proven. It's been scientifically proven that apart from the observer, we cannot tell whether or not there is anything perceptional at all. We don't know if there is any reality, perceptional reality, apart from the observer. Think about that for a second. There has to be an observer further to be in existence, a perpetual existence, a sensory existence. And there's nothing wrong with your senses. Your senses are absolutely phenomenal. They are beautiful. They are powerful. I encourage us to tap into those senses in new and deep and fascinating ways all the time. Because we want to explore the depths of this life. But to really play, to really party, to really enjoy the bliss of living and being alive, it starts here. It starts within, in what, I, in what I would like to call the inner sanctum. The Bible calls it stillness. Be still and know that I am God. Jesus called it the kingdom. He said the kingdom of God is within you. And there are so many other names for this, but there is one truth that resonates in all the names of this place that is within you, that is where your divine self or this ultimate reality is found. And this is the power to create and manifest in your life. The power to create and manifest whatever you desire. The power to create and manifest the life of your dreams is within you. This is why I started Life Artistry Institute because I have this strong driving passion to help people just like you discover how to create, how to manifest, how to play in this world and how to design the lifestyle of their dreams, how to shift and change and develop the personality they've always wanted, how to become what they've wanted to be in the reality that they are really never that thing that they believe that they are. Oh. And you can do it. The power is within you, found in the inner sanctum. So, so the only reason why we have to learn how to enter and remain in this place is because we've been so conditioned by the external world, by our sensory reality, by the perceptional reality, right, man? We've been conditioned to live in that place. And uh, it's, like, it's like we're that man that stares into the mirror and walks away forgetting what we look like. So if, I just want to encourage you, if you're going to take something away from this video, I want you to, I want you to take away the hope. I want you to take away the hope that there is a life of perpetual bliss just waiting for you. That it's not out of reach, man. It's not out of reach. It's not far from you. It's within you. It's waiting for you right here. The kingdom is waiting for you. There's a treasure hidden in this field waiting to be discovered. And so to seek the 
kingdom within to explore how to enter and abide in the inner sanctum and manifest what's found there is all about looking within instead of looking without. In other words, I'm going to encourage you to not worry about the fruit. Don't worry about the branches, not worry about the fruit. But spend your time looking for the root. Spend your time exploring the depth within of what you are instead of concerning yourself with outward manifestation. So many are concerned without from outward manifestation, how they experience this, how they have that, and what to do here, and what to do with this thing, and how to overcome this thing. And I'm saying all that will come in time. Right now, you should spend your time exploring the depths of who you are. This is the most important thing, discovering the root of the divine tree within. And I know that as the more that you discover the root of the divine tree within, the more that outward manifestation effortlessly takes place. I absolutely love you. I think you're fucking phenomenal. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. And remember, the more we awaken, the more we play. Thank <laughs> you.